Hi, this is Jackson Brown. Today we're going to bring you another review video. Today we're going to review the best off-ice and dry land training hockey pucks. Today we're going to do two tests. One test is going to be on the shooting pad and the other is going to be on the concrete floor. Here we have a rubber street hockey puck. I am not that confident using this puck. I did find that sometimes it rolls off my blade, but overall it's okay. Here we have the Green Biscuit Snipe. Overall, I've been really happy with it. Not only can you stick handle with it, but you can also shoot with the Green Biscuit Snipe. And as you see here, it's been really good on the shooting pad. I do apologize. I do not know the name of this puck, but it is an off-ice and dry land puck, and... It's, I find it's been okay. I mean, I'm not completely confident stick handling with it, but as you see here, it works pretty well on the shooting pad. This is the Verbero Duro puck. It's an off-ice and dry land puck. As you see, it slides pretty well on the shooting pad. However, I find on the concrete, as you would see, it's not as stable. Here we have the 6-ounce fly puck and the 8-ounce puck. The 6-ounce puck is the same weight as a regular ice hockey puck, and the 8-ounce is heavier to work on your strength. As you see here, the 6-ounce puck slides really well on the shooting pad, as well as the 8-ounce puck. I really suggest these two dry land pucks when working on your stick handling strength and skills. Here we have a much thinner off-ice stick handling puck. It's really light. It does slide pretty well on the shooting pad, but as you see, it does flip over time to time. So it doesn't completely have my confidence. But overall, it's a decent puck. Here we have the Hockey Shot Dry Land Puck. And as you see here, it's doing pretty well on the shooting pad test. However, it does flip over time to time, and it's not the same feel as some of the other pucks. Here we have the green biscuit. As you see here, it slides really well on the shooting pad. I really don't have any criticism to give about this puck. It's a really good off-ice puck. Here again, we have the rubber street hockey puck. As you see, it's doing all right on the concrete. Here we have the Green Biscuit Snipe. As you see, the movement is really fluent with this Green Biscuit. Again, I want to apologize. I do not know the name of this puck, but it's moving pretty well on the concrete. Something cool about the Verbero puck is that it comes with replaceable plastic tubes that you can put inside the puck that prevent it from destroying easily. Here we have the 6-ounce fly puck. Its movement is pretty fluid on the concrete. And now we have the 8-ounce fly puck, and it's really good to work on your strength while stick handling. I apologize, I do not know the name of this puck, but I do not have complete confidence while stick handling with this puck. Now we have the Hockey Shot Dryland puck, and as you see, it's kind of hard to stick handle with this puck. Green Biscuit, as you can see, slides really well on the concrete. And it's really easy and fun to stick handle with. Really ice-like. I do not know the exact name of this puck, but you can buy it at most sports stores. And it's kind of hard to stick handle with, as you can see. And with the puck, I lost my patience easily with this one. Overall, I think that the Green Biscuit is the best off-ice dryland puck. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. And thanks for watching.